All right, I'm gonna be honest with you. It's almost time for like the, I don't even know what this is. The greatest unit in Grand Cross history. The craziest unit, the most hyped unit, bro. Ultimate one. His name is just so cool too. I'll show it to you in a second, like his name. Um, I don't know, it's crazy. But if you're new to the channel, like subscribe. Let's talk about this here today. I wanted to break down the, uh, the character before we get him here tonight. Remember, he drops in basically from when I'm recording this, like 12 hours. So we have a bunch of time uh, before that actually does go down and happen. Um, I'll see what I get out tonight about this, uh, this unit specifically. I am so hyped. You don't understand how hyped I am right now. This this is, uh, hey, we said Escanor, but we never said Ultimate One Escanor. Oh, nah. All right. So, with that, let's jump into it. If you're new to the channel, like and subscribe. Let's have some fun with it. So, again, this entire stream did go down today, right? The entire uh, JPKR stream that happened, like announcing everything. But with it, we now have the actual breakdown of the skills, like perfectly and properly. First, look at the name Flame of Life Elizabeth of Eternal Rebirth. Love that name. And yeah, they didn't update it on GC Database properly. Uh, it's named this. So if I go to characters, Ultimate Escanor, then Elizabeth of, of Eternal Re uh, Rebirth. Technically, if you think about it with his ultimate and passive, then this is really just Elizabeth. It's just a revive constantly. But yeah, Flame of Life is just uh, it's such a good name. I don't know. Dude, this hurts. This unit itself hurts. Just thinking about it. Escanor, man. My, my boy. Damn it. All right. Final Flame. Apply Sacred Soul. Again, just uh, the entire point of this character. Right? So uh, let me make this clear. First, I'll do the passive and then break it down because people are going to ask me about it, right? Now, for free plays, you have to understand this unit may not be the best. Okay. One, six. It's going to be such an insane jump at six, six, at uh, two, six, at four, six, or whatever. This character, and you've seen it with the meta recently, right? That just some jumps in the uh, in the ults, right? Automatically make the unit uh, busted. Reinhardt, for example, getting those additional buffs. Think about Reinhardt in this case. It's the same way, but this again can't die. He just gets more revives. Apply Sacred Flame on the hero at the start of the battle. Increases damage by 15% up to four times after using a skill. The hero's stats cannot be decreased. When the hero takes fatal damage, increases attack related stats by 30%. Sacred Flame for five turns increases all stats by four turn or four percent every turn. Passive is nuts. Passive is freaking busted, right? So again, basically how this is gonna work, and we saw this in the entire stream, just to break it down if you're if you're missing it, right? As you die, as you have that happen to you, um, so first, this is what the damage is on the gold card, um, like regularly. Again, this is nuts. One point, like 2.5k, 2.5k, what? Uh, but you see right here, right? So you killed Escanor. Now, Escanor will have his entire uh, bar, like, inflamed, if you will. And it looks sick also. That's that's really nice. We have Escanor over here also inflamed. But now, basically how it works is, right? So again, when you are inflamed and all that does happen, um, let's say, like, in this case, right? So now I have three inflamed uh stats all that's going to be increased because i got I attacked and did all of that if you look at it yeah how it works is this inflicts death uh, damage equal to 500 percent of that when the hero dies now this is where it is so you don't have to ult to, to kick this off as a passive basically okay this is the passive that's how that works but how it does with the ultimate itself it's it's big multipliers okay so if you're at a one six that means you can only take on one final flame that means you can only take one additional attack okay now if you let's say two six you take two additional final flames. So to where Escanor will be mainly the most busted unit possible is probably chasing final prominence, which is a 4-6 Escanor, which you take three additional final flame. So even if you get attacked and the first uh, attack killed you, the second won't and that other one won't. So you will then be able to survive the next turn and then attack one more time to finish it off or to die the next turn after that. That is how it's going to work, right? So with Escanor, Basically, that ultimate is the biggest possible thing ever, and you'll have to increase it to actually make him very, very broken. Um, and if you have a 1-6 Escanor, he'll still be great. I'm not saying he's not. I'm just saying that, yes, they've done this pretty well recently, making the um, like ultimate levels so much better and so much juicier um, to where it's it's really worth it to chase dupes of him right now. And again, he's a light unit. So anyways, chasing dupes of him is great. Um, and again, with any light or dark unit, as mentioned, you always want to chase dupes because who knows when they return? They might return in like uh, millennia away. So when that always breaks down to it, it's like always worth it. Um, so again, just remember that the showcase showed it to you as a 6-6. Six, six. That's how he was absorbing all those attacks, which again is four. Up to four final flames are attached. And again, how does the final flame work? Fixes the hero's HP at one. Only final flame can be applied on the hero, taking uh, damage on the enemy's turn due to enemy skill or after the hero uses the skill. We remove one final flame. Hero dies when all final flames are removed. So again, let's say you have three final flames. Actually, think about this now. Um, you get attacked twice. You then have one final flame. So you can attack one last time, and then you're dead. That's how it's going to work. So you also can die, basically, by using your attacks. 
Um, so it might be worth it to like, you know, chuck off his attack or, you know, your other team's attacks if they're stronger and able to kill um, instead of using it so he can like survive one more turn so he can like bait down an attack from the enemy. Again, that's all going to have to be like determined as we move along with it, but that's how that's going to work. So again, don't base anything off of the gameplay we just got. That is a four, or that's a, what, six, six, which is four final flames. It's big. That is big. All right. Most of us are getting one six, which is one final flame attached, which means He'll take one hit extra, then he's dead. So basically one uh, Liz revive, which means that a great idea would be to chase a 2-6, which is again, if we have the gems for it, it's a, it's a great idea to chase uh, dupes on this banner. Um, but with it, the character itself is just broken. It's busted. I really want to see how this goes against Demonic Beasts and just other PvE content. I think that this is going to be a really good character um, to chase things down like that. So again, with the official like great translations we have, it's a lot of... Uh, additional idea we got here to actually how this unit works and how properly it works so yeah that's uh again originally we thought like it's the passive itself gives you four the ultimate gives you four so we had that entire misconception all right oh you you your, your passive is saving you not not your ultimate gauge or your ultimate level it's your ultimate level saving you i don't know why they're doing that entire thing now it's like the ultimate level is just so um in a way too good to miss so same with reinhardt's reinhardt was a 6-6 ultimate you needed it you have a 6-6 six, six Reinhardt compared to a 3-6 Reinhardt, or a 1-6 Reinhardt, rather, right? 6-6 six, six is just nuclear. It's like, not even that. So let's say a 5-6 uh, and a 6-6. Six, 6-6 six. Six, six is just better. That additional effect, every additional effect you got on Reinhardt just makes it or break it for any team, okay? Just, it does. That's how it is. So, again, yes, any 6-6 six, six ultimate does that, but Reinhardt specifically gives such a boost with that 6-6 six, six to where you can't kill him. Like, you can't. At some point, you really can't kill him. You can just endlessly fight a Reinhardt, um, and that's really how it's going to uh, kind of go. With this, if you go against a 6-6 Escanor, you have to keep in mind that that, that revives are going to be so annoying to kind of counter, right? So, it, it just it stands at that. It stands at that. I have no words. It stands at that. So, again, breaking it down, it's still a good character. I'm not saying any of that. The banner itself, the entire update itself is, like, is, is massively well done. There's so much good stuff in this entire update. Like, if you were looking at it, like, from a new player perspective, like, this banner specifically just set up any good player, any new player, right? A good player. Any new player in the perfect manner possible. One unit, two unit, three unit, four unit. These are all good units, right? So, again, if you didn't get this on the free banner or whatever, you missed it or whatever, now you have a chance. These all are good units. So like, majority of them are. And then you look at this. One, two, three. Good. This for demon people that don't have it. Great. This, great, 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 great. And it's, the whole banner itself is great. The, um, again, mileage, you can only pick a 900, that's fine. This, great for Naofumi. So if you want to run Naofumi team, you might get a little bit of a buff here, which is great. The thing is, Grim War didn't get added here, by the way. So we can't 6-6 six, six him yet. We have to like, look for a way to get more Grim War copies. Um, you can only obtain one, not on any banners. So how do we 6-6 six, six Grim War? What? Um... Does he just drop at 6-6 six, six automatically? I'm just kidding. Uh, we have this also, which is the entire storyline update, which is, again, cool. The cosmetics are sick. Coin shop, uh, you know, it's all right. Escanor has the uh, login, great. All these great little changes are also nice. We're getting a free festival unit, a free Grimoire, as mentioned. For all these free SSRs, all of this stuff over here, 200 gem login, all of this stuff for the event. This over here, level 90 thing, a free still multi, which is good. The burning festival is over here. Oh my god. You have this over here also, which is the cool new event they added in. Five gems, ten gems here. You have this cricket boss. This thing is whack, weird, creepy, annoying. I don't even know what it is. We have, uh, what is it, the uh, exchange thing here. They've brought back all of these costumes to at least give you a chance to obtain them. Massive W. Like, this is the biggest W from that Marvel today. I screw everything else. I needed so many of these. So at least that if I lose out on Penguin, um, what is it, Mono, I don't feel miserable. I was I was hating myself for not summoning for Mono because I'm going to lose out on the Penguin costume. I don't miss out on it now, right? So again, overall, a really big W of an update. Um, and again, with the character itself, it's still free to be friendly. Don't listen to anything I'm saying here. I'm just saying to keep in the back of your head that it does get a lot better with more dupes. So if you want to chase some dupes, go chase some dupes. If you can't chase some dupes, don't worry. The unit is still good. Again, in any game, in any uh, or any character, the 6-6 six, six is just better. The 4-6 is just better. The 2-6 is just better. With this character specifically, it's a big difference. Just, and again, Hijack Elder was the same way. You delete the entire roster of cards in comparison to deleting two cards. That's how that ultimate works. Same way with this. Again, keep that in the back of your head when you are summoning. And just knowing this, I'm just here to say it. What I've said in my other videos um, originally, the passive was, again, translated properly, where you do not get a final flame, right? So again, you look at it, there's no final flame attached to you um, in your passive specifically, right? If I go down here, right? Nowhere does it say final flame. Um, it's just a sacred flame is what you're getting applied. 
When we translated it, we thought that Final Flame was getting attached to the character. No, that is in the ultimate itself. So again, no Final Flame. Over here, Final Flame. So there is that. That's been for me. Catch you in the next one. Have one. Stay safe. Just want to talk about that here today. Hopefully you were able to enjoy that. With that being it, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. And yeah.